Mr. Peters is present with his attorney, Mr. Dilley, and uh, Mr. Metz appears for the people. Uh, Mr. Dilley, you may bring Mr. Peters right up to the table. Thank you. That'll work best. <clears throat> Mr. Peters, what is your date of birth? It is charged that on between about November 2nd of 2009 and May 21st of 2010 in the city of Grand Rapids, you did attempt to commit an offense prohibited by law, namely obtaining false pretense, uh, obtain money or property by false pretenses in the amount of $20,000 or more, and did an act toward the commission of that offense that failed in the perpetration thereof. Do you understand that charge? The maximum penalty is five years in prison. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to have an attorney represent you. If you can't afford to hire one, the court will appoint one at public expense. Do you understand that? Yes. And of course, you have Mr. Philly appearing for you today. The next scheduled proceeding in this matter shall be a preliminary examination scheduled for August 13th at 2.15 in front of Judge Buter. Here is a reminder slip. Mr. Metz, do you wish to be heard on the issue of bond? Thank you, Judge. We leave the matter of bond, of course, discussion. All right. Mr. Dillick, do you wish to be heard? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Peters is a lifelong Michigan resident. Uh, he's been in Grand Rapids as a resident for over eight years. He's married and has three young children and is gainfully employed. Additionally, he has very strong ties to the business community. And uh, I suggest respectfully that the personal recognizance bond would be appropriate. Right. Bond is set in the amount of $20,000 personal recognizance. <clears throat> Henry Roberson. Mr. Dilley, I think so. There isn't going to be any statement today except by the one time, I'll do it twice, so you get a second take, okay? Uh, we're confident that once the facts in this matter come out, Mr. Peters will be found to have done nothing wrong whatsoever. So what did happen? We're confident that once all the facts come out, it's going to be very clear that Mr. Peters did nothing wrong. Did anybody do anything wrong? That's it. <laughs> Is there a chance that uh, Mr. Peters will... Uh, Henry, I'm not going to make any other statement. There'll be another time for that. Okay? Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.